not really jumping that high. I'm jumping okay. The dribble dunks are okay, even though I'm missing. I had some good ones to start, but I'm not jumping high today. Uh, no hike today, so I kind of cut it a little short just so I can dunk tomorrow. I'm going all out tomorrow. I haven't been jumping high lately, but um, I think that's just, I'm kind of in the middle of phases, but uh, I feel good jumping. I felt good starting off, like my initial jumps felt good, and my two-hand dribble dunk is good for a bad day, like jumping not high, so I'm really happy with that. I felt like my dribble dunks got higher, but my high jumps aren't high anymore, but we're working. Let's get it. What's up? Hey. Hey, I always say try to find a way to uh, motivate yourself. I always try to find, it. whoa, yo. I always try to say, find a way to motivate yourself for each session. I feel like poop, uh, I'm tired, I didn't sleep well, I haven't been jumping well lately. So today, I'm hoping this will be the lowest day I have going forward. So if I could do well on my lowest day, that's good. And hopefully it is the lowest day, you feel me? But I feel everything's negative right now. I haven't been jumping well, and I just have no energy today, but I gotta go hard, let's get it. I warmed up a little before that. Instead of thinking like, I'm gonna do awful, I, there's not much I can do, it's not gonna be a spectacular day, which is not as hype for me. I'll think, what can I do on my lowest day and make this the lowest day going forward? Hopefully this is the last of the low, not the last of the low days, but the lowest day, and I never have a lower day than this. So if I could do decent, hashtag on this day, that's, uh, that pumps me up a little bit, so I can go a little harder. That helps, I hope that helps you. Hurt my toe on that last one, I landed weird. Okay, okay, you gotta push yourself. I think I might have even jumped higher than yesterday, and yesterday I was fresh and had a lot more energy when I started. So you really gotta push yourself, you really gotta find something that helps you 
push yourself to the max because today I felt a little more aggressive and I was getting pumped off dunks that were worse because I was picturing it as my low day. So I think that hype helped me a lot. I hope that makes sense. Basically, um, even though if I think about this being lower than other days I've had by a lot, then I, I don't have as much adrenaline to try to jump and dunk my hardest when I know it's not gonna be as good as other days have been. It's gonna be lower than other days and I'm trying to just make gains. So if I picture this as my lowest day, which I really hope it is, the net pumps me up that I could do this type of dunking on my lowest day. And by the way, this rim's like 9-11, but I've always had trouble with it. I think it's up a little bit like this. It's really hard to dunk on compared to other rims. That 10-foot rim I went to uh, two sessions ago actually felt easier than this one. But um, yeah, this one's always been tough, but I like it. I'm gonna try to stick to the tough rims, but I'm looking forward to it. I definitely push myself hard. And it also, by pushing myself hard on this low day, it makes me feel like on a high day, I can push even harder and exceed that threshold. Because if I'm able to push this hard on a low day, then on a good day, I should be able to jump higher. And I think that's what I've been missing because on the other days, when I'm feeling good, I'm not pushing this hard. So I'm not able to break through to the higher level. I'm, I'm st sticking to what I've been jumping at. I'm not breaking through my highest jumping. And you have to push harder than hard to get harder and you gotta get it. Let's get it, let's dunk life, let's go. <laughs>